When I came to Toronto Film School, I learned that like you'd be lear using Unreal Engine, which was one of the reasons why I came. What I wasn't expecting was like, yeah, my instructors were also from the game industry as well as from some AAA game studios, which gave me some more excitement when I learned like some of the insights and uh, some of the things and tips to do when trying to get into the industry. My dad ended up getting me the Nintendo GameCube and the first game that came that I got with it was the Sonic Adventure DX. I played that game, couldn't get through big story, especially the first level, but I loved the game and it inspired me to go into game development. I have a better appreciation for sound Never learned how important it is until you see some games with like terrible sound. And I learned like how important sound is. And when I say important, I mean very, very important. Uh, right now I'm working on a uh, small uh, fake dating app for a uh, friend's uh, web series. I think like one of the main highlights is uh, figuring out a problem that took me a week only to realize that it was easily solved with, by removing one single character in the code. It's painful. <laughs> um, talking with my peers is great. If I have a problem, um, I would ask them to help me out. And sometimes they spot the issue very quickly. Other times we're both stumped together, but hey, we're stumped. It's, we're doing it together as long as we're both confused. It's great. <laughs> Learn source control. It is a lifesaver. <laughs> when I was at, at NSCC and TFS, uh, we were drilled a lot in how much the uh, source control is a lifesaver. Even like when I, before I even started at NSCC, when I went to see some of the other later term students there, that is a major tip that they gave us. <laughs> and it really, really, it's helpful.